Story time. It was lunchtime in the ER. The staff and I were surprised at the possibility that we could actually be able to eat lunch on that day. We're discussing the crappy food options we're going to shove into our bodies when I heard some commotion at the triage station. The triage nurse looks at me and yells, Doc, I think it's the real deal. With him, a man in his mid to late 50s, dressed well, wearing a nice cowboy hat nice shirt and a shiny belt buckle you could definitely tell something was wrong the man is sweating holding the less out of his chest and he's in pain he was at the mediation meeting for a divorce from his wife when he started experiencing pressure like chest pain he was previously healthy and on no medication this was unlike any chest pain he'd ever had blood pressure 165 over 90. ekg obtained that even stevie wonder could see this was the real deal he was having a heart attack we immediately started the treatment in the ER, gave him some aspirin, and I contacted a cardiologist. I'm like, bro, we got the real deal here. The cardiologist goes, say less, send him over. I said less, and I sent him over to the cath lab. I remember, the EKG showed that he was having a heart attack. Blood work confirmed his troponin was high. Surprisingly, the cardiologist did not find any blockages in any of the arteries of his heart. He was not having a heart attack. Instead, the left ventricle of his heart looked like a Japanese octopus trap. This gentleman was experiencing what's commonly known as broken heart syndrome, which is a stress-induced cardiomyopathy, also known as Takusobo cardiomyopathy. Takusobo in Japanese means octopus trap. This name was given to this condition because these patients left ventricle have a weird shape. They look like a Japanese octopus trap. Takusoba cardiomyopathy, broken heart syndrome, looks like a heart attack, smells like a heart attack, was like a heart attack, but it's not a heart attack. These patients usually have a good prognostic, even with love. This patient and his wife never got a divorce and are still married. Dr. Kwanji, your hero, I love you guys.